Hey guys, Eric Kyler, Great Lake Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm on a boat. How about that? Cedar Point Boat Show, having a blast. I met up with the guys from Helmmaster over at Yamaha. I'm here with Sean. What's up, brother? Not much, man. How are you doing? It's always good to see you, dude. Ah, it's better to see you, especially it's a nice, beautiful day here in Sandusky. Making sure your mic is on. That's very good. So, Helmmaster. Yes. I've seen the prize. It's been around for quite some time. Yeah, almost 10 years now. Yeah. Tell our readers and our viewers a little bit about what Helmmaster does because there's a lot of different competing products out on the market. Sure. This is like, this, this is, is the, the one, right? When you think of a pinnacle, this, exactly. is, this is where you're exactly. going to end up. Talk to me about Helmmaster. Helmmaster is, in its simplicity, it's total boat control integration, okay. right? We've gone from the mechanical world, which we still offer, sure. to the digital world, which is what Hellmaster really brings to the table. What Hellmaster, I believe, for the general consumer, like the most important thing that they need to understand about it, is it's giving them now pinpoint control of their boat from the speed to position to the comfort. It's bringing fun back into boating like nothing else before because now I can take a boat that maybe I wasn't comfortable driving before, dock it and have that confidence okay. to go okay. out there and get that done. Well, you said what I was going to allude to here, Sean. So this is not just about being able to dock your boat easier. Nope. This is about the whole experience boating. Uh-huh. It, it, it absolutely is. It has it has multiple facets to it. And it all really first starts with what uh, we call YCOP. It is actually a security uh, device as well. It could equate to a discount on your insurance. Depends on your insurance company. Got to love it. Got to work on that, right? But uh, that's our key fob now. So okay. it's proximity, and this is how you actually start and stop your outboard engines now with Hellmaster. Really? Pretty cool. So huh? you don't need a key. Not a key anymore. Key exactly right. I like it. Mm -hmm. So it starts with that. Um, it includes the five pieces that uh, that you can see here. Yep. Point out to me all five pieces. Sean. So the helm includes the actual helm or the steering wheel, if you will, and it is a tilt wheel. Okay. So that's a nice piece. That's one. Uh, it comes with a gauge. This is the actual software and the brains of the system, if you will, are in here. This monitors everything that's going on with the engine. That is correct. Okay. And this is a closed system. This only talks to our engines, okay. right? There's no information getting into here except for what's coming from our engines, right? You're not running GPS, fish finder, none of that stuff. It's only the engine. engine. Well, now that, that's going to be a, a, a very interesting point. We'll get to that one in a minute, okay. but it does include the gauge. Okay. Then you have your throttle control, your binnacles, right? right. And then you have your, uh, the what I call the cherry on top of the Sunday, which is the joystick. Now there are other pieces to the system, obviously. You're going to have some pumps, you're going to have an antenna, and you've got some safety lights that are in the back that will flash to let everybody know, hey, these props are working. Stay away from the boat if you happen to be in the water. I like it. I mm -hmm. like it. But uh, just real quick, on, on the throttle control, we've got six buttons down here that really start to give you the meat and potatoes of what Helmmaster brings as far as uh, options and accessories to it, right? So the first one is uh, up on top here. It's called speed control. Speed control is one of my favorite features in Hellmaster. I use it all the time. And honestly, when we first got it, it was something I thought, probably not going to use this a whole lot. Yeah. I liken it to, in your car, you have cruise control. Yeah. The plus and the minus, a little bit faster, a little bit slower. Same thing here. So if we engage our throttles, yeah. have speed control. We have a little banner that goes across the screen here. It tells oh, us that. speed control activated. Yeah. And as we do that, we have uh, the um, rocker switch here is for my speed control. So I can push roughly 50 RPM every push up. Ah. Now this is great, right? We're just in a little marina. Instead of having to try to finagle my, my throttles to right, go a little faster, right, right, a little slower, right, we have right. a tendency to over throttle it. Oh, that's very convenient. Or imagine this, Eric, when it's rough and we're trying to go just a little bit faster. We're trolling baits or whatever, yeah. you know, or you got a new guy on the boat that might not be used to digital controls. It's so much easier for him to push the button faster and slower. Yeah, that makes sense. Now let me show you something, especially I think that might be of interest to uh, to you guys here in the Great Lakes, because I know there's a uh, a great interest for trolling slowly, right? Two mile an hour or less. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Something along that line. Less than five. Less than five, right? Well, so we've got two motors in gear right now. Another feature inside of Hellmaster, inside of speed control, is called pattern shift. I know that's a lot of information, but. What pattern shift does for you is it takes an interval of time, roughly seven seconds, and it will automatically take the boat in and out of gear for seven seconds as a percentage. So when I push down, we're going to see pattern shift activated. Yeah. That's the first one. I'm 90% of the, t of the seven seconds in gear, 10% out. Oh. Right? 80, 20, 70, 30, 60, 40, yeah. all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Minimum speed ach achieved. 10% in, I'm sorry, 10% out, I'm sorry, 
ninety percent out, ten percent in. Ten percent in, right? So just adverse relationship. Right? Exactly yeah. right, okay. all the way down. So this, you talk about pinpoint speed control. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, brother. I can feel the engines all of a sudden kick on every, like almost every ten seconds. Mm -hmm. And this will tell us what goes on here. So we go from neutral to forward. I love it. Now we're bump trolling. Question, silly question. Sure. No such thing. I love fuel economy. Not just because I'm a sailor, but because I love fuel economy. So tell me how the Helm Master system is going to help me, because you've got all this digital technology that's integrated in this, it's got to help me save on fuel. Well, you know, fuel comes down to multiple factors, right? So we've got condition, we've got weight, we've got boat, we've right, got distribution, right. etc. It really all boils down to the fuel efficiency, the fuel efficiency that's built into the motor. For example, we've got our 300s back here, 4.2 liter, incredible uh, torque ratios on these things. They yeah. are super, super strong, but they're also very, very fuel efficient. We're yeah. at the top of the class throughout our models yeah. uh, as far as fuel efficiency is concerned. Just okay. get out of this guy's way a little bit there. So you mentioned four different points and you said there was a total of five. What did I miss? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We didn't go over that. Yep. That's the... Oh, that's the key fob. The key fob. Got it, got it, got it. Keyless got it. Uh, start stop. Okay. Exactly okay. right. Um, but again, we got, we'll finish up down here real quick. Uh, so as we were in speed control, the second one is another fan favorite, and it's called single lever. I'll hit that. Single lever activated. Well, what's right. single lever? Pretty simple. It takes our starboard out of play. No matter how many engines I have, I can control them all. Through the port, mm -hmm, through the nice. port side. So no more worrying about synchronizing your engines or all that business or having multiple controls. I can right, do everything right. through here. Right, right. Love well, that I can't feature. I can't tell you how many times I've been in twin outboards and I'm trying to match up the yeah. RPMs on each one by, you know, just, massaging it. Yeah, massaging yeah. both. Yeah. Oh, we've all been there. <laughs> hey, the okay. Yep. So I like that. I like uh, that a lot. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so we'll come out of that one just to keep going there. Okay. Uh, the next two are a little bit um, specific as far as your application. Uh, this one is uh, station selector. So if you have multiple stations, you have to have a way to control it. That's right. what that button is. Right, right. The one below that is, a, is a, another neat one, especially for fishing, and it's center engine. Not applicable here because you have to have at least three engines for it to come into play. Or one. Uh, nope. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, so as long as we have multiple engines, uh, triple engines or bigger, yep. I can hit center engine, and what it's going to do is it's going to take my outside engines and put them in neutral. Right. And then the boat's only going to be controlled by the center engine or engines. Multiple things it does there. First and foremost, pinpoint speed control. We've already talked about it. Right. This is going to help me gain even more control. Okay. Second, biggest advan advantage here is for the fisherman who's got a widespread trolling, likes that clean water getting back to his spread. Oh yeah. Now I don't have any prop wash getting back there because okay. my outside engines are shut down. Okay. Again, giving you that, giving the customer the control of the boat. So we got a lot of options here. This yeah. is an absolutely fantastic system, but this is not sold with every one of those boats, with every one of those engines. It nope. doesn't come with it. It's not, not yet. It's not like it's an a la carte deal, right? Well, not a la carte, but it is it is a complete system. Okay. Um, and you don't have to buy it right off the bat, but obviously I'm telling you, once you get on a boat with Helmmaster, it's something that oh, yeah. you'll just it's like a microwave in your house. How did I never have this right, before? Right, right. So I would say, and I'm hoping, you know, in the next five years or so, this should be standard equipment. I mean yeah. it, it really is well, that good. Most boat manufacturers now are offering this with their boat models as they're coming off the shelf. Absolutely. Yeah, which yeah. makes sense. So let's take a peek at the engines back here. Sure. Why don't you run through a couple of things on the Helm Master that affects the engines, and we'll take a look at what the engines do. Well, sure. So um, when the features we were just going through yep. are a, they're, they're the add-on, if you will, the, 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 the real, they're just nice features to have. They're very handy. Right. But now when we get into the actual engines being independently steered, now we're talking about joystick control. Right. Right. So Hellmaster is, and then there's joystick control that is part of that, right? Right, right. So to think about making a boat move in ways that we could never do before, right, i.e. sideways, uh, diagonally, uh, rotate in a circle while moving sideways, things that you could not do with just the sticks. Right, right. You know, you'd have to have and 20 knots really good. twenty right. knots of wind and, you know, right. <laughs> and, a, and somebody with a dock line pushing you around. Right, right. That's the only way you could do that. So to get movement sideways, you've got to control your thrust, right? right. They've been doing, Volvo Pen has been doing it for years with pocket drives and being able to turn 360 degrees. We can't do that. Right. We have to articulate the engines at some angle to put a thrust against the center line. How do we do that? Independent steering. Okay. So I hit the joystick button. The engines are going to splay against each other. And you notice right now, 
they're going to push against the center line of the boat, right? Yeah, so That's, you're not really moving forward or aft right now. You're just you're staying right where you're at. Right now, we're going to stay where we are, exactly. Right, right, but right. this is how we achieve the movement, okay? Okay, because they're independently steered. So it is literally it's so intu it's so intuitive. You just think, I want to go that way. You push the joystick that way. The joystick is your gas pedal. It is your steering wheel. And actually, right now, the steering wheel is locked. You know, and this is it, right? Okay. So if we want to go to the left. I would just simply push to the left. The system is doing all of this for me. Or when I see like I would normally do with my uh, throttle controls, push the starboard engine forward and bring the port engine in reverse, uh -huh. and it would turn me left. Sure. Yeah, so that's basically what's going on here. Well, it would turn you left, but we're actually, we're literally going sideways. We're going ah, left. We're not turning okay. left. Okay, so you're actually pushing the boat We're left, pushing the boat sideways. pointing the boat left. That is correct. That I is see, correct. I see. And that, that you can't just do by using the throttle. No, you cannot. Okay, but you can do it with... You uh, can do it with Hellmaster because the motors are independently steered, as you see. Right. So if I want to turn left, all I would do then is twist the joystick, yep. doing the same thing you would have been doing with your throttles right, right now. Right, right, right. right. A question I get a lot, Eric, I, I do a ton of these, a uh, question I get a lot is, oh, there's going to be a lot of shifting, so much shifting. I, If you are experienced enough in this, you can maneuver this boat 360 degrees with one shift. I can control this boat less with less shifting than you can with just the throttles. If well, you notice, that, I just turn... helps on engine wear. That's exactly right. Yeah, I mean, which is significant, especially for long-term use of these. Sure. Yeah. And we could talk about that for a second because when we uh, came out with Hellmaster, we knew, hey, there's going to be a little bit more work, if you will, sure. um, on the, let's say, the propeller and the hub system. So we redeveloped that into yeah. SDS, Shift Dampening System. In layman's term, we redeveloped the hub. It's a bigger, batter hub. It just takes some of that torque out of the shift of in and out. So if, okay. you, if you can hear it right now, I don't know with this microphone, but that's a very gentle shift. Oh yeah. In yeah, and out of gear. It's not, yeah. It's not There's no more yeah. gunk. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. all gone. Okay. Right? So that's how we achieve the uh, um, the direction, if you will. Uh, and then from there, it, it really, I say this, you know, with the joystick generation, when you get some kids on here and whatnot, they, they can drive a boat better than their parents can because the parents are still used to trying to drive it with but the sticks and whatnot. we're admit that. We're, never, we're gonna have to edit that part out of the video. Of course not. That's good parenting is what that is. <laughs> so, you know what? I love what you're talking about. Brother, sure. We're on an incredible boat. Yeah, man. It is a beautiful day. This is glass out here, and we have twin 300 horsepower Yamahas on the back of this. Let's go, man. I think I know where you're going. Let's go. Now have a seat, brother. All right, here we go. Let's do it. I gotta tell you, I absolutely love that. Thank you so much. I got my speedboat fix in for the week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's cool and I agree. Going fast is always, always fun. But let's just say, boom, we just made a run to our favorite fishing spot, right? And we wanna stay still. And we wanna control the boat again, right? Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna take the feature of Hellmaster, what we call set point. Right? And what set point can do for me is again, we, when we developed the system, we wanted to give the consumer the ability to just control their boat however they wanted to, right? So we came up with all these crazy ideas of, well, let's do this and let's do that and da da da, you know, like any any good brainstorming. Right. So we came up with four features in our set point, right? The first one is what we call fish point. We develop fish point for fishermen because right. what a fisherman wants to do is be able to go from spot to spot, be quiet, not scare the fish and uh, be able to position the boat to have the, the, the biggest chance for success, right? Sure, sure, sure. So let's just say, for example, that the wheel is the spot that we're trying to fish, and that my phone is, uh, we've, we're real high tech here on the graphics. <laughs> the, uh, my phone is the, uh, is the boat, and this is the bow and the stern. And we talked earlier, I mentioned an antenna. Yeah. All right, it's a dual GPS antenna, it's on the roof up there. So this system actually knows the difference between the bow and the stern. Right. That's how we're able to use fish point bow and then fish point stern. Fish point bow will literally hold my position on a spot with regard to my bow. What does that mean? It means that it's, the boat is now going to find the path of least resistance. Be it wind, might push me this way, right? or current, yep. or a mix of the two, 
and it'll just kind of sit there. Low RPM, low shifting, and very little steering to do that. So this is all GPS controlled. I mean, uh -huh. is it within like three feet or is it spot on? Well, that's a great question. So our what separates us from everybody else is our parameters are tight, very, very tight. You know, we, we love to say, oh, it'll sit there all day and, you know, two foot, three foot, whatever. It's all condition based. I don't care oh, which sure, system sure, that you're sure, on. Sure, sure. The more consistent your condition is, right. the better the system will work. Okay. I can tell you from personal experience, sitting in two to three foot roller seas that had a, had a wind just coming this way, yep. we just sat there. And you'll, you'll sit there till you run out of gas. So it's keeping you on a GPS coordinate spot, uh -huh. period whether mm -hmm. it's your bow or your stern or the center point of your boat, it's going to keep you right on that GPS spot. That's the idea. So you can you can fish that location. What else are you going to do besides fish? What's the advantage of being able to just sit? Well, in the sure. Of the light? Well, let's, let's not forget, that's the first one. Right. The second one that we have, so we can sit on this point with my bow or my stern. Right. Some days the current, you know, maybe the lines are going towards your engines one day, uh, current's going a different way, so you want the bow or stern. Okay. The next one that we came up with is what we call stay point. So with fish point, it doesn't care about my orientation, which way I'm facing. It only cares about my position. Stay point will now do both. It's going to hold my uh, position and my orientation. So let's say I want to sit on top of that spot, but turn the boat sideways. Right. That's what stay point will do for you. Okay. Now that's great for, it could be for fishing. It could be for waiting on a bridge. Yeah. It could be for uh, watching fireworks, the sunset. Uh, yeah. It is not for swimming. It is not for swimming. None Never. of this, none of this is for swimming. Okay. And actually you always, even though you're going to be tempted to leave the helm, you always want to be within range in case, oh boy, here comes a jet ski at me quick or right. a boat that's out right, of control. Right. I've got to be able to get out of here fast. Safety first. Safety first. And that's a great point. No matter what, any of the features that we went through, at any given time, if you need control of your boat, all you do is engage your throttles, you get your wheel, and go. You're done. There's okay. no other button to okay. push. And the last one that we'll talk about is drift point. So drift point is another great one for fishing application. Typically, the boat will want to you know, fall down sea this way. What you can do with drift point is turn the boat at any orientation. It doesn't care about your position, only about your orientation. So it'll bump, 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 bump right along a ledge for you. Nice. Talk about control, huh? While I don't have a Those chance. Those fish don't have a chance, dude. It's over, man. You got them. <laughs> Take a shotgun. That's right. Boom. <laughs> I love it. Eric, that's all I got for you, brother. Sean, thank you so much. All right, man. I not really a problem. Appreciate not it. a problem. Can I go to helmmaster.com, find out more information about the product and where my local dealer is? Sure thing, except go to yamahamotors.com, uh, and uh, from there you can find all the information on dealers, Helmmaster. Master, okay. the, the litany of Yamaha products. Yamahamotors.com. No dash, no nothing, just Yamahamotors.com. That's right. Outstanding, brother. All well right, done. Man. All right. Let's Yamaha go home. Yamahamotors.com, guys. We're going to go back out on the water. Thanks so much for joining us.